Hello friends. Today I will discuss the single phase induction motor principle. The principle of the single phase induction motor can be explained by two theorems. One is called the double revolving field theory. The other one is cross field theory. In this video, cross field theory will be discussed. Single phase induction motor will have the a stator and a rotor like this and rotor is a squirrel cage type and stator is connected to the single phase AC supply and single phase AC supply waveform is sine wave like this so means it changes with time. So same current or same flux links with the rotor conductors. So as a result for every off cycle the polarity of the the rotor poles or the rotor currents changes. Similarly the stator current direction also changes. As a result the rotor will not move to the right or left because of the pulsating nature or vibration vibrating condition. So this can be easily explained like this. Suppose the stator carrying the currents bottom into the blackboard and whereas the top conductors carry the current out of the blackboard and using the right hand thumb rule the direction of the magnetic field produced by the stator current can be shown like this that is from left to right. So this fingers curl fingers will show the direction of the current flowing so that is into the blackboard and then coming out of the blackboard from the top conductors. So then the thumb indicates the direction of the magnetic field produced by the stator current. Similarly the same rule can be applied to the rotor that is the conductor top conductors carry the current into the paper whereas the bottom conductors carry the current out of the paper. So this can be explained using right hand thumb rule like this. So this indicates the direction of the rotor magnetic field is from right to left. So if you show them vectorially they are like this. This is the flux produced by the stator whereas this is the flux produced by the rotor. They have the 180 degrees phase difference between them. So the net flux acting on the rotor is zero. So the rotor will not move in any direction. So the in fact it is at standstill condition. Suppose the motor is started using one of the starting method that may be a split phase method or that may be a axillary winding connected in series with a capacitor across the main winding or it may be connected a main winding connected across the axillary winding and axillary winding is connected in series with two capacitors which are in parallel and the set is connected across the main winding and the main winding is connected to the single phase AC supply. So these are all the methods of starting the single phase induction motor. So by using any one of them then the resultant torque will be present as a result the resultant torque the resultant flux will rotate in the air gap like this that is rotor will start rotating in that condition suppose the current flowing in the stator conductors bottom conductors is into the paper whereas the conductors top conductors of the stator carry the current out of the paper then the rotor 
conductors left side carry the current into the paper whereas the right side conductors carry the current out of the paper in that case using the uh, right hand thumb rule to find the magnetic fields we find that the stator magnetic field that is phi s comes like this from left to right like this whereas the rotor magnetic field will be from top to bottom like this that is phi r now if you look at them the angle between the rotor magnetic field and the stator magnetic field is at 90 degrees so it is called cross field theory so because there are two fluxes which are at 90 degrees and the torque of the two uh, mean this motor is can be written as torque is equal to phi s into phi r into sine sine of the angle between the two fluxes when the angle between the two fluxes is 90 degrees the torque will be maximum and the resultant will be shown like this so whereas when theta is 180 degrees sin 180 is zero so the torque produced is zero so the rotor will not move there but whereas with the starting method used maximum torque is possible when the angle between the stator flux and the rotor flux is 90 degrees then the resultant flux will be like this and the rotor will start rotating from um, that is from left to right or in the clockwise direction now let me summarize once the cross field theory so when the rotor is at standstill condition the currents uh, direction induced in the rotor is like this top conductors carry the currents into the paper whereas the bottom conductors carry the current out of the paper whereas the stator uh, conductors carry the bottom conductors carry the current into the paper whereas the top conductors carry the current out of the paper so the using the right hand thumb rule the direction of the straighter magnetic field or flux is from left to right like this and whereas for the rotor the direction of the flux is exactly opposite like this and they are equal in magnitude so the net uh, magnetic flux acting on the rotor is zero so the uh, the torque is zero in other words torque is nothing but uh, the torque of the flux of the rotor and the flux of the stator into sine of the angle between those two fluxes so if you look at the two fluxes that stator flux and the rotor flux the angle between them is 180 degrees the total torque is uh, phi r into phi s into sine theta that is sine 180 so sine 180 means it is zero the net torque on the rotor is zero so the tor the rotor will not move under normal conditions so suppose the some method is used to rotate the motor in that case the rotor the stator conductors bottom conductors conduct conduct the currents into the paper whereas the top conductors carry the current out of the paper so the magnetic flux produced by the stator current is from left to right like this and uh, then the rotor carry the currents here left side uh, into the paper whereas right side the current is flowing out of the paper so as a result the flux produced by this by the right hand rule thumb rule the flux will be from top to bottom that is like this phi r will be left to right whereas the phi r is from top to bottom so the angle between them is 90 degrees and the torque is nothing but phi r into phi s into sine of theta I means sine 90 so that is the maximum torque is produced and the resultant of that torque will be like this and the nature of this torque is rotating in nature that is it rotates from left to right 